Hi everyone, welcome back to Medition, your trusted medical information channel. I'm Dr. Lin, a board certified allergist and immunologist. Today's episode is an important one for anyone dealing with stubborn hand eczema. Also known as hand dermatitis, this is an inflammatory, itchy, and often painful skin condition that is highly prevalent and among the most common work related disorders. In up to two thirds of patients, Hand eczema becomes chronic, lasting more than three months, or recurring two or more times a year. The disease signs and symptoms can change in severity and appearance over time, but typically include itchy pain and a burning sensation. Diagnosis can be tricky, and treatment is often a challenge. So if you or someone you care about struggle with each painful cracked hands that just won't heal, the medication I'm about to cover could be a game changer, and you don't want to miss this episode. The treatment is called Enzepco, a prescription jack inhibitor cream developed specifically for chronic hand eczema. It is the first and only FDA-approved therapy for moderate to severe chronic hand eczema in adults. Stay with me as I share five key things you need to know about Enzepco. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe for more science-based medical updates. Now, let's dive in. First, what is Enzepco? Enzepco, or Dalgocinib, is a topical prescription cream approved by the FDA for adults with moderate to severe chronic hand eczema who have not responded well to topical steroids or cannot use them. It's the first and only FDA-approved treatment developed specifically for chronic hand eczema, addressing a major unmet need for patients whose hands are affected day in and day out. Because chronic hand eczema is a complex, relapsing, and long-lasting disease, many patients either do not respond well to topical steroids or face limitations with long-term use. Approved by the FDA in July 2025, Enzepco may finally offer the relief many patients have been waiting for. Second, how does Enzepco work? To understand this, we need to look at why chronic hand eczema is so difficult to treat. Depending on the underlying cause, it is often classified as irritant, allergic, or topic hand eczema. You don't need to remember the names. What matters is that each type involves a different inflammatory pathway, and mixed types are very common. The contribution of these mechanisms can also vary not only between patients, but even over time in the same patient. Fortunately, despite these differences, most of the inflammatory signals depend on a key system inside skin cells called the JAK-STAT pathway. Mzepco belongs to a class of medicines known as JAK inhibitors. By targeting this pathway, it blocks multiple inflammatory signals at once, reducing the cascade that drives redness, itching, cracking, and pain right at the skin level where symptoms begin. Third, Let's talk about dosing and how to use Enzepco correctly. For adults, apply a thin layer twice daily to the affected areas of the hands and wrist only. Remember, just a thin layer. With Enzepco, a little goes a long way. Each tube contains 30 grams of cream, and it's important not to exceed 30 grams over two weeks or 60 grams per month. And Zepco should not be used on other body sites, especially sensitive mucous membranes, such as the eyes or mouth. Always clean and dry the skin before applying, and if someone else applies the cream for you, they should wash their hands afterwards. Like other eczema treatments, and Zepco may be used alongside moisturizers or emollients to help restore the skin barrier. Always follow your healthcare provider's instructions and ask 
if you have any questions about using it in combination with moisturizers or other therapies. Fourth, let's talk about one of Enzepco's biggest advantages, its efficacy across different subtypes of disease. As I mentioned earlier, chronic hand eczema can be irritant, allergic, atopic, or mixed. In Enzepco's pivotal clinical trials, patients with all of these subtypes were included. In fact, nearly 28% of participants had more than one subtype diagnosed before treatment, showing that the studies reflected the complexity of real-world patients. The results were very encouraging. Not only did a significant number of patients achieve meaningful clinical improvement, but Enzepco also showed a rapid onset of action. Relief of itch and pain was observed as early as the first day of treatment compared to placebo. For patients who have endured chronic, painful, and itchy hand eczema for years, this quick and consistent relief is truly a breakthrough. And finally, let's review side effects and safety. First, because Enzepco is an immune suppressant, it carries a risk of serious infection and is recommended not to be used together with other JAK inhibitors or strong immune suppressants. Although it is applied only to the hands and wrist and has limited absorption, the risk of serious infection is low but not zero. In the pivotal clinical trials, one case of eczema hepaticum, a severe herpes infection on top of eczema, was reported, along with several cases of shingles due to viral reactivation. Because of this, Enzepco should not be started in patients with an active, serious infection. Before beginning treatment, patients should inform their healthcare provider if they are being treated for infection, have infections that keep coming back, have tuberculosis or close contact with TB, have a history of shingles, hepatitis B, or hepatitis C, or think they may currently have an infection. During treatment, Enzepco can increase the risk of new infections or worsen existing ones. If any symptoms of an infection develop, medical attention should be sought promptly. Life vaccines should also be avoided immediately before, during, and shortly after treatment. Another safety point is that non-melanoma skin cancers, including basal cell carcinoma, have been reported in some patients treated with Enzepco. Regular skin examinations are recommended, especially for patients with risk factors for skin cancer. As for side effects, the most commonly reported were application side reactions, such as pain, tingling, itching, and redness, as well as bacterial skin infections like finger cellulitis or nail infections. A few patients also experienced low white blood cell counts. Importantly, these side effects were uncommon occurring in 1% or fewer of patients treated with Enzepco. Overall, the safety profile of Enzepco is reassuring. Unlike some other JAK inhibitors, it does not carry a box warning, has no known drug-to-drug -drug interactions, no listed contraindications, and does not require routine lab monitoring. And there you have it, five key facts about Enzepco, the prescription JAK inhibitor cream that blocks inflammation across multiple pathways, delivers fast and meaningful relief, and offers a relatively favorable safety profile for adults living with chronic hand eczema. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts or experience in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more evidence-based insights right here on Medition. See you next time.